Last but certainly not least, I want to introduce Jody Evans. Jody is the co-founder of Code Pink and the After School Writing Program 826LA. She's been a visionary advocate for peace for several decades, and she inspires us at Code Pink to call out the lies and the fear that lead us to war and to see the parallels between the war on terror and the new wars being started today. So I'm gonna pass it over to Jody to speak and share a very special announcement. Thank you, Emily. Great job today. Um, and also thank you, Rick. You know, um, after Congress voted us to war, I started an after school writing program with Dave Eggers, A26LA, because I realized how uneducated even our members of Congress were. They were incapable of critically thinking about war and writing fostered critical thinking. And um, we've served over 100,000 students in LA, Unified School District, who qualify for school lunch, many of whom don't have an English speaking parent at home, and um, too many who are homeless and um, foster kids. So, yes, education is part of the peace economy that is strangled and privatized more and more every year by the war economy. So um, thank you for what you're raising. Today we've heard from so many deep-hearted, peace-filled, truth-telling activists on this tragic day that was followed by horrific terrorism, violence, and brutality by this, the United States of America. I thank you all so much for your openness, honesty, and your intimate stories. Some we will be grieving for days, and yet many, um, I think they will fuel also our passion for peace and our desires to end this insanity. Tomorrow is 9-12. We can all model how to respond in a different way. First, we ourselves must practice the forms of peace, divesting ourselves from the war economy that forces us to act from alienation, scarcity, transaction, selfishness, competition, distraction, reaction, limitation, urgency, and us versus them. Instead, we need to practice what it is to cultivate a peace economy, listening, connection, community building, interdependence, relational engagement, quality, attention, both and because we are all connected. You can learn more about divesting patterns at um, Code Pink and download our 21 days to divest from the war economy. But I just wanted to make sure we knew it's up to us first. Then we need to bring our listening, relating, connected selves into the streets, exposing the costs of war that affect everyone. All needs lead back to the Pentagon and its suck of money into death, destruction, annihilation, and as we have seen today, much grief. War and the Pentagon serve the war economy. And what has happened since 9-11 is the rich have gotten richer. The United States has moved right and the social fabric is in tatters. While the world is less safe and terrorism has increased everywhere. So tomorrow on 9-12, we launch hashtag cut the Pentagon, a big tent intended to pull the already grassroots activism together to show that the needs of the people and the planet are being denied by the stupidity of wars and the Pentagon. We plan to raise up direct actions, teach-ins on the costs of war and where we can shine a light on the places Sharing, caring, relationality is happening in our communities, the places where the money should be going to create conditions conducive for life. Each day we will focus on one of the coalition members and what they're doing. So first of all, we're reminded of our breadth and nourished by each other's engagement, where we can learn what we can share in our community and take local. The website is a place where we can go to get under the tent where we can bring others to grow the tent. You can drop in every day, you can raise awareness. We all must become tuning ports for peace, changing this culture of war we live in 
to one of kindness and caring and sharing and understanding and connection and my favorite words, love and peace. The next war is already happening. We hear it from members of the military right now. China is who they are told their enemy is, and they think they are saving the people of Taiwan. There are already victims of this war on China, and they are in the United States. Violence against Asians in the US is on a steady rise. If you care about the people in Taiwan, the only answer is no war. Do not sell weapons to them to be a pawn in the US aggression on China. They will be destroyed. I have been in North Korea and what happened there is beyond unspeakable. A violence and a genocide that cannot fully be grasped. So as always, the only answer is no war and China is not our enemy. We all need to be more educated on China so we can be in cooperation and relationship for a future. As aggression on China is with a nuclear power and our US tax dollars are funding more nuclear weapons, just as a few of those weapons will bring an end to the world with a nuclear winter. This is a very existential threat. Let us show them that it is people, not money that wins. It is up to all of us and it will take all of us. The beautiful Sammy Alarian said, we need a grassroots movement. The Pentagon is a place to pull everyone under a big tent and show that all the issues lead back to the Pentagon. Those funds war sweeps into the pockets of the rich while destroying the people, the planet and all paths to peace need to be diverted to the needs of the people, planet, peace, and a future. Use the hashtag cut the Pentagon when raising up your issue. Join the coalition if you haven't already and be in the streets, be teaching, be sharing what you learn and do not be silent in the face of the costs of war that are all around you. Thank you, Danica, Emily, Rachel, Frank, Brian. Thank you to Code Pink and Mass Pete's Action teams for all your super hard work that went into making today happen and for creating this space for us to touch these deep and personal stories. Remember to grieve, to feel, and to touch our passions for peace. It is time to build that big tent we need to make it necessary and the only answer for members of Congress to cut the Pentagon, or would they risk the shame as the costs of war are wrapped around their necks and they are exposed for denying the needs of the people. Don't accept their words, call them on their votes. And like Norman Solomon said, instead of votes for a little less money for war, we need to be calling members to say they will not vote money for war anymore. You right now can call on your member to join with Barbara Lee in cutting the Pentagon budget down to what was called a peacetime budget and funding what is needed for peace. Emily's posting that link in the chat, so act right now. As we say goodbye today, please make a commitment to be visible, to be beautiful from the deep love we have all touched today to educate, agitate, and organize, and engage, 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 onward to peace. And can we all unmute and share our appreciation to the team, to the speakers, and say yes to our commitment to rise up. Yay! Yes. Yay, team. Thank you, team. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Wonderful speakers. Thank you. 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 Let's yeah. Thank, you you all. All. Thank you. Thank Love you. Love you all. Thank you. Great way to end uh end up our program, Jody. Um you. Love you all. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes.
Yes. Are we going to sing Medea happy birthday? Is that Thank what people are saying? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Medea. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Cosmas. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Hey, 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 hey. And many more. Thank you so much. Oh, I'll see you. Some of you are oh, yeah. together. Hi, Cynthia. Rising together. Hi, Leslie. Bye -bye. Bye. Good night. Hi, Cynthia. Hi. 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 Where's the Pentagon cake? Oh, yeah, I'm so I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go. Thanks to everyone for organizing this. Yeah, I know. By the way, tomorrow, as Jody Evans said, is September 12th, and the Lions for Global Justice has a webinar on media disinformation on Nicaragua at 3 p.m. Eastern. Link is in the chat. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you. Farmars. And, you know, Farmars, uh, he and I go way back 20 uh, something years, maybe we, probably Ralph Nader campaign. Um, but he was the one who put the link in Farmars. If, before you leave, if you want to put that link again, all L.A. based or near L.A., you know, all hands on deck for um, Bush uh, Monday, um, September 20th. And also Sunday, he'll be in Beverly Hills on sunday september 19th so we want people in the region to come out for this we think it's going to be big There's um something happening at the white house tomorrow isn't there yeah tomorrow if you're in dc em yeah, like, uh, emily you want to speak on that i'm gonna let jody speak i believe oh, I was jody's here. still here of course yeah sure tomorrow at three o'clock at the white house is the launch of Ki the pentagon uh, please join us. Tig has made a crazy amazing cake of the Pentagon. We are going to cut the Pentagon cake and eat it too, along with some Ben & Jerry's ice cream while we hear from some of the coalition members of why it's necessary to join this big tent of Cut wow, the Pentagon. Wow, that's brilliant. Wonderful. Hey, Jody, what can we um, what can we do locally in the local, What what would be a good activity? Like um, get a cake. I mean, what? <laughs> get a cake and or join together and um, you know watch the live stream, um, share with each other what you would find instead of war. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, we'll be we're going to be hanging hearts on the uh, White House fence of what we want the the funds invested in instead of war. Um, you know, post those on the Facebook. Uh, of Code Pink, we're gonna ask be asking that question tomorrow on Code Pink's Facebook. Not only what should we be funding instead of war, but what are some mm. ideas for direct action for exposing the cost of war, for talking about where we what we should be funding? <laughs> we need some great ideas, y'all. So share with us your ideas of ways we could be engaging. Um, we're we've got uh, we're going to West Tech on Tuesday to expose the war the warmongers who are you know fueling their ideas to the state department instead of ways to peace they're they're fueling ways to war uh we've got a beanbag game at the one of the universities on thursday uh either you can throw the beanbag in the black hole of the pentagon <laughs> or the rainbow of education healthcare. nice uh, caring for each other so we need your ideas okay. we need to be engaged every day so we're we're looking for ideas and support and and also for you to join the coalition and, and have something that you're doing that day that inspires other. We're hoping that like uh, the vigil of Code Pink outside the White House, that things like this start to arise up in other communities and people take it on locally. Um, Rachel, you already do this. So um, it's about doing it more. It's that we just need to do more. Um, if Where to 14 see members the of Congress team. think they can vote more money to war, we we're not. They're not feeling us. They got to be feeling us more. 
And yeah. we're going to Pelosi's on 921, have a big tea party with a big Pentagon cake that we're going to cut the Pentagon. So join us up at Nancy Pelosi's from four to six on the 21st. She's at 2640 Broadway in San Francisco. And we're going to dance in the streets and we're going to deliver a message to her. Join us. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Wonderful. And you know, Jody, I just, we in San Pedro, we have the kind of distinct privilege of having all our politicians within blocks of each other so it's it's easier but yeah definitely we feel we feel a lot of empowerment by actually going to a congressperson's office and for the last of course year and a half they've been pretty shut down because of covid but they are starting to come back you know if people call their congressperson or that what we tend to do and this is what gets them out because we were out august 31st on on tuesday you know the last troops home and we called them beforehand and depending on who your congressperson was we said we're not there to protest we want you to come with us and like come to our side and so they kind of you know we we coax them um but you know if more and more people can go to their congressional offices and vigil out there but you just gave a great idea, Jody. Maybe we'll do hearts and put, did you say ideas for what you could do? Yeah, instead? what you can be funding instead of war. What's, what's, what are the needs for okay. sure? That's, that's a great idea. Okay. Great. And, and, and everyone should join Code Pink Congress on Tuesday, every other Tuesday night to learn more. I mean, like has been stressed. We all need to learn from each other. It's we, we've learned and fell from each other today, but that never ends. You know, it's, it's nourishing each other's hearts is part of being an activist and learning from each other. We're, we've all got the places where we're learning and where we can be sharing and, and raising up what we learn. So uh, thank you so much, Rachel and Emily and Frank and Brian and, um, and Danica, who I'm, I'm sad oh. is not here with us. So I just want to raise up Danica yeah, for even supporting this idea. <laughs> Yeah, she's been pivot key key organizer of this. Yeah, so is it okay if we we steal the uh, half a cake idea? I love it. Oh, <laughs> steal! It's it's not stealing. We're I know. I know. It's like it's sharing, caring, and it's like if it's a great idea and you like it, then like yeah. let's do it. Take it. Most Take sincere it. form of flattery, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, maybe we could take a slice and send it up to our congresswoman and say, here's your, <laughs> right, very good. So we, said, you... yeah. I was going to say, I think it's a, a good time for some music. Ooh. And and to, yeah, put a little music on, oh, but yeah, just so go. you, oh, so just I so you know, we, we are staying open a little bit for people who want to share. So if you want to stay with us, Jody, <laughs> Jody you want to say something? Oh, no, I just, uh, we'll get. I'll do a little video with Tig so we can uh, get, have the cake instructions up on the site. Where Thanks. will be uh, your live stream tomorrow? Oh, the live stream. Where? On cutthepentagon.org. <laughs> cutthepentagon.org. Code pink and then this? No, just cutthepentagon.org. Okay. Thank you. And anything about the International Day of Peace, September 21st? We have many actions and they, they are up on cutthepentagon.org. And uh, Cynthia, I don't know what city you're in, but Cynthia Papermaster just talked about some. Um, uh, anyone mean, else? Concord, I would like to see. Massachusetts, uh, three years doing constant peace vigil with the people that have been doing peace vigil. Um, I have walked all over the world for peace, was walking India on September 11th. Yeah, we will share. Um, yeah. Thank you, thank you for organizing this. I've met Media years ago in LA with Ramsey Clark. I met Kathy Kelly in uh, Pennsylvania in the Quaker School, George School. With um, yeah, and quite a few of the others. Um, I try to uh, be in touch. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Arthur. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank we you. We appreciate you. It sounds like you're in LA, Arthur? No, I lived in Southern California the longest, but I'm in Concord, Massachusetts. Oh, okay, my neck of the woods. It's yours, Brian. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you my information, reach out.
video there today around the center in Concord with my flags and. Um, <coughs> I like the idea uh, so just what we're doing here, we're not sure, but uh, we're keeping it open. And so I think if people raise their hand, they take stack, or maybe if we see something in the chat that we moderators can maybe ask someone their idea. Wendy, would you like to share your idea of what we can do on September 21st? Um, hi, yes, I'm a member of Upper Hudson Peace Action. <clears throat> 